It's easy to forget Hong Kong boasts one of the world's greatest subway systems, with all the criticism heaped on the mass transit railway over construction delays and costs. The MTR is one of the few metropolitan rail operators which has no problem sharing its on-time performance figures, at a nigh-perfect 99.9%. While its global peers are more timid and their ratings usually revealed by auditors, as is the case in New York City's rating of between 82 to 68 percent, depending on the day of the week. Among major global financial centers, Singapore's rail comes in at the cheapest, with Hong Kong slightly ahead of New York and Tokyo, while London takes the crown as the world's most expensive inner city rail ride. New York wins hands down in terms of the most stations, with a whopping 457 stops along its crisscrossing underground networks. Yet Tokyo took the cake in terms of total track length at 609.3 kilometers. Unsurprisingly, Tokyo's ridership tops the group in annual passengers with more than 3.2 billion trips last year. But Beijing subway still carries more people with just over 200 million more passengers than the Japanese capital's underground. Within China, Beijing topped all physical metrics, save for stations, with Shanghai ahead by 46 more stations, while Taipei manages roughly a third of Hong Kong's annual traffic despite more stations on a shorter track. At the national level, China has the most metropolitan subway networks, as well as the most in development, with 14 new projects in the pipeline, adding to its 24 current networks.